life. I wish I could spend more time with my dad because he's always playing the video games with my brother and then I just get left out. Can I play? No. I watch television alone because that is the only time I actually have for myself. I need you to go get ready for bed, okay? When they say, Mom, do you want to do this with me? She'll say, no, I'm watching my program. Why can't she just record it or something? The last time I got to play with my mom was when I was little. Why were you playing outside in the new clothes that I just bought you? Don't do that again. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. It's the day of the swap, and both wives prepare to leave their lives behind. What do they hope to bring to their new families? I'm hoping that I can share the joy of magic with them. I live a neat and organized life, and that's what I want to teach these people. I miss you guys. Bye. Love ya. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Make no messes and keep the house clean. After an 1,800-mile journey, the wives finally get to see where they'll be living for the next two weeks. Wow, it's charming. The house looks a little small. I'm concerned on what the inside is going to look like. Before they meet their new families, the wives get a chance to explore their new homes. You've got to be kidding me. There's so much stuff all over the place. They're very tidy. Will you, like, see my house? And it just gets worse. There is definitely no order in this house. I felt some dirt. Oh, let me feel at home. I would never let my son walk around in something like that. Matching hangers. I wonder what they would feel like if they had a blue hanger in here. Why do they have rabbits and doves down here? There's all this magic stuff. Oh my gosh, these people are magicians. For the first week, the wives must live by the rules of their new family. Each wife has written a manual as a guide to the running of their homes. We live, eat, and breathe magic. My husband, Andy, is a magician. Our 10-year-old is also a magician. I would never want my son to grow up and be a magician. I want my son doing normal activities that are going to lead to something. I ride my children to do chores and stand over them to make sure the job is being done. I'm stunned at that. My children don't have chores. They're not my maids. So she's basically not teaching her children responsibility. I need to know what my children are doing at all times so I can protect them. This sounds like they're in prison. We allow our children to flag down cars and show them magic tricks. That is not good parenting. They are time to brush their teeth? No way! <laughs> How much time do they get to pee? Next, the wives meet their new families. Elena. And is Jennifer...